Hey! So today is July 14th, which means we are only 12 days away from Oticon 2012. 12 days. Oticon 2012. That's funny how that happened. Anyways, so I'm here to tell you everything about Oticon 2012 concerning me. I'm going to answer a couple of your questions from my Facebook page, and let's get started. Secondly, let's start off with uh, cosplays that I'm going to be doing at Oticon 2012. Secondly, I want to tell you guys that I now have a Twitter account that I will be using at Oticon to post updates and talk about what I'm doing and stuff, so that's going to be an easy way, first of all, for you guys to flag me down. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, I will put my Twitter account link in the bottom bar. I may also update randomly about convention stuff and maybe non-convention stuff, I really don't know. Um, I really don't get Twitter, honestly, <laughs> but I mean, it is a good way to keep in touch with you guys at Oticon. So if you want to keep up with me and what I'm doing at Oticon this year, just follow me on Twitter and link is in the bottom bar. So now on to the cosplays. Thursday I will be just sort of wearing something casual. Uh, it's going to be something I can dance in because DTP does have a rehearsal practice on Thursday night, which is a tradition. This is the second annual <laughs> DTP practice on Thursday night since we've only been around for two conventions. Anyway, so um, I'll just be wearing normal clothes. But you guys, if you see me on Thursday, you're more than welcome to come up and say hi and stuff. And yeah, so totally do that. Friday I'm going to be cosplaying Shiro from Dead Man Wonderland. Um, Dead Man Wonderland has just recently become more popular because I believe it's airing on Adult Swim right now. Uh, I don't watch it on Adult Swim, but I watched a couple of the dubs. Uh, Gonta's voice is funny, but regardless. Um, <laughs> so I will be cosplaying Shiro in her uh, white bodysuit. You guys, a couple of you saw the pictures of that from my Facebook page. So that's going to be on Friday. So on Saturday I will be doing Noelle Vermillion from Blaze Blue. I know I asked you guys on my Facebook page if you wanted me to do Sayaka or Noel, and I'm pretty sure Sayaka may have won in votes for that, but since G is going to be doing Terami and my friend Mark is actually going to be doing Hakumen from Blaze Blue, uh, I just sort of wanted to do Noel instead of Sayaka. So Sayaka will be at another convention and I'm going to get swords for her and stuff, but for Saturday for Otakon you're looking for Noel Vermillion and I will be using my real hair so I won't be wearing a wig. Uh, blue uniform, if you don't know what it looks like, Google it and yeah. Also, Saturday night, 8 o'clock in the Fountain Flag area, Dansu Topansu is going to be having another dance gathering. Ah, dance gathering. So yeah, we're definitely going to be doing that again this year. So. If you for sure want to see me and say hi, I will definitely be there at 8 o'clock, the Fountain Flag area by the escalators, and we are going to be dancing, we are going to be hanging out, we are going to be having fun, and it's going to be amazing. So even if you don't dance, if you just want to come and say hi to me or Sophia or anybody, uh, stop by the dance gathering. Again, 8 o'clock, Fountain Flag area, Saturday night, be there, or don't have fun Saturday night. Sunday I will be wearing my Lolita cord, which is this big white dress. <laughs> I don't really, I mean I would tell you the name of the print, it's a Baby the Starshine Bright dress, but I, that probably means nothing to you guys. So I will be wearing Lolita, look for the big poofy white dress and the big obnoxious white hair bow. That will be me. Also in big news, guys, I want to show you one of my new toys. <laughs> I just got this camera lens and it was 15 bucks, which is awesome but it's a magnetic wide lens. So you guys know my camera with its gropey tools, my friend Mark likes to call it. And uh, it just, here's the magnet and it just pops right onto my camera. And it's a wide view lens. I wanted to record this video with this camera, but I couldn't get the right angle and the lighting really was awful. So you guys will see though. I'll show you at Oticon the difference between this. It's amazing with it on and off. It's, and hopefully it's gonna make the uh, footage more stable and less shaky when I'm running around. So far it looks like it's gonna be really awesome. So I'm really glad that I could get that in time for Otakon this year because that's gonna be amazing. So now I'm going to answer a couple of your guys' questions from my Facebook page that you asked um, about Otakon. Uh, this will be my eighth Otakon, so I would like to think that I know what I'm doing by now. But you never know, with Otakon things happen, plans change. So sometimes Otakon can be really hectic and sometimes it can go really smooth. It all depends on your experience. Uh, so let's get started with the questions. Jennifer wants to know what I'll be doing on Friday so you guys will know where I am so you guys can say hi and stuff. Um, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to be on Friday at this point. Uh, I don't think the schedule is up for Oticon yet, like panel-wise or anything. Um, 
might maybe go to the rave. I'm not sure. Uh, for that, you guys, again, just follow me on Twitter because I will let you know probably what I'm doing and so you guys will know to come say hi and stuff. So yeah. Hayden wants to remind you guys to wear your candy, so thank you, Hayden. London says that uh, they went last year and were overwhelmed. Any suggestions? Uh, that's kind of a vague question, so I don't know if you were overwhelmed with the crowd or overwhelmed with... I don't know. Uh, in general, Otakon can be really overwhelming. I actually told somebody recently that Otakon was my first convention and they were a bit taken back by it. <laughs> it was something like, they said something like, go big or go home, and at the time, Otakon was about I think it was 20,000, 18,000 people, uh, and now it's up to 35,000 people, so it can be really overwhelming. Uh, take it slow, know that Saturday is going to be the busiest day. Um, avoid the dealer's room on Sunday because that's when everyone is going to be buying stuff, <laughs> including myself, and um, I think that's about it. If uh, that's regarding overwhelming with like the people in the crowds and stuff, that's what I would say about that. My favorite places to eat in Baltimore, um, honestly I don't go to Baltimore that often besides Otakon, and honestly again the only place that I eat during Otakon is the subway across from the convention center inside the mall. Literally, if I'm hungry and enough that I want something to eat, like a substance something, I will go to that subway. And I remember last year that subway ran out of bread <laughs> during Otakon, so hopefully they won't run out of bread this year, and I'm going to be really sad if they do, but uh, I eat at the subway in the mall right across from the convention center, and that's about it. Um, I know there's a McDonald's a little ways up, a couple blocks up, and in the mall there are different places to eat, like there's Chinese, there's a pizza place, um, there's a chicken place as far as I remember, um, but yeah, I normally just go to the mall. I don't like to go places, oh, unless it's at this, uh, the harbor, in the harbor there's a sushi Asian restaurant, then you can like sit on the balcony and stuff. Sometimes if I have enough time, I will go there and I eat their sushi and it's really good, so I highly recommend that restaurant. Ires, 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 I think that's how you say his name. Um, he wants to know what are my tips for keeping from overheating while in cosplay and what am I most looking forward to? So uh, to keep overheating, keep from overheating in cosplay, I would say drink lots and lots and lots of water. I have a really bad habit of becoming dehydrated. Um, so I make sure even if I'm not thirsty, I'm drinking cold water. Uh, that's a definite, definite thing you need to be doing, especially in Baltimore. In the scalding sun is really awful. Um, also concerning overheating in cosplay, choose cosplay wisely for Otakon. I cannot stress this enough. You should not be wearing Katara's, you know, parka outfit from Avatar because that would just be a, a stupid idea. No offense if you're doing that. But seriously, you know, think about how hot it's gonna be. Choose wisely your cosplays and I think that's the number one tip was just be think about your cosplays before you do them at Otakon because it's gonna be hot and you're gonna sweat and if you're gonna if sweat's gonna ruin your cosplay then don't wear that cosplay. Yeah, I think that's about it. So drink water, choose wisely, and stay indoors, I guess would be my third um, suggestion. <laughs> the Baltimore Convention Center itself is very air conditioned and like normally I get cold. I get cold very easily but when I am at Otakon I tend to get cold when I'm inside the convention because they keep it nice and air conditioned. So stay indoors, drink a lot, choose wisely. And the last question is from Katia. Katia? Uh, she asks uh, when I'm uploading the next Colossal Con vlogs. Oops. Uh, yeah, those will be up shortly. I wanted to get this video out because I normally release this video around this time, actually earlier uh, in July, so I wanted to get this video out now, but I will be uploading the Colossal Con vlogs probably uh, in three or so days, depending on when this video goes up. Um, she also asks, am I going to any panels to see voice actors? Um, I probably won't. I know that the creator of Madoka is going to be there though, and I'd really like to see him, but I don't think it's possible. I just can't bring myself to wait in a line for five hours to see a person. 
voices a character or I mean the creator of Madoka is kind of different you know so I, I would like to do that but I can't see myself sitting in, sitting in a line and you know that's like convention time you could be like walking around or in the dealer's room or meeting people and stuff and then you're just sitting in line and bored and miserable so the answer to that question is probably no <laughs> your second question also he asks what am I most looking forward to that would definitely be the DTP gathering Saturday night because that's normally the highlight of my convention because I normally get to meet a lot of you guys and I have a lot of fun dancing and I don't know it just it's normally just not only do we dance at the gathering but we just like kind of hang out it's normally a really long gathering so there's time to just chill and talk to people that in my dance group and you guys who I don't get to see all the time so I say that's probably what I'm looking forward to most. That and cosplaying as Shiro from Dead Man Wonderland because that's going to be so much fun and I'm really excited for that. So guys, that about wraps up my Otakon 2012 pre m video. Uh, if you guys are going to Otakon 2012, comment below and let me know what you are going to be cosplaying so I can try to pair you up with your username. I try my best. Um, also guys, I want to let you know that I apologize in advance if you come up to me and say hi and then you come up later and I forget your name because I am so bad with names and I probably met over 50 people last year at least who came up and said hi and then I saw them later in the day and then I felt really bad because I didn't remember their names. So try to keep in mind that I meet a lot of people and I'm going to do my best to remember everybody's name but please forgive me if I don't because I'm really bad with names. So. Otakon 2012, Thursday, casual, whatever. Friday, I will be Shiro from Dead Man Wonderland. Saturday, I will be Noelle Vermillion from Blaze Blue. And Sunday, I will be wearing my Lolita cord, which is this big white dress and a big white bow. And you guys will recognize me, I'm sure. I might be wearing a wig though, so good luck with that. <laughs> oh, also on Sunday, I'll be going to the Aya Hero No concert. So if you want to find me, I'll be there. <laughs> Anyways guys, so comment below, let me know what you're cosplaying, and why, if you're not going to Otakon, tell me why you're not, because you should be going to Otakon. <sighs> I think that's about it. Okay guys, I will see you guys in like two weeks. Not even two weeks, less than two weeks. Okay, I gotta go now. So, bye me! <laughs>